If you're new to electoral politics, or even if you've been around for a while, you've probably had people tell you that you must go to your caucus, and they are absolutely right. If you're interested in being a delegate to a convention, helping select your party's candidates for the November ballot, or being in party leadership, you need to caucus. Let's take a look at how that works. The timing of caucuses is set by law. Not all states have caucuses, but Minnesota always does. All political parties in Minnesota caucus at exactly the same time. Caucuses occur on the first Tuesday of February in even numbered years. So our next caucus in Minnesota is on Tuesday, February 6, 2018 at 7 p.m. Caucuses are where you meet your local party. The people you meet there will live close to you and will share most of your political views. Caucuses will normally be held in public buildings like schools or city halls. You can find out where your caucus meets by going to the official Precinct Caucus Finder on the Minnesota Secretary of State website. Just plug in your address and zip code. The official call is your how-to manual as a party activist, beginning at your very first caucus. For example, you will find details in the official call about timing of conventions, submitting resolutions, what happens at caucuses, and how walking sub-caucuses work. You should print a copy and use it as your go-to resource as you learn to navigate the DFL. At your caucuses, you will have an opportunity to volunteer to help create your local convention. Volunteering to be on one of the convention committees is the absolute best way for a new activist to get to know their local party and the people who make it work. If there isn't a sign-up sheet at your caucus, ask who you need to contact. To learn more about convention committees, see our presentation entitled Volunteer for a Convention Committee. When you arrive at your caucus, you'll be asked to register. By doing so, you're confirming that you are or will be 18 years old by the next election, you live in the precinct that you're signing into, you share democratic beliefs and philosophies, and that you don't consider yourself to be a member of any other political party. At 7 p.m. sharp, your caucus will be called to order by a person called a convener. They've been recruited by the local party just to get the meeting started. The person elected to conduct the meeting is called the caucus chair. Their job is complete when the caucus is done. The convener will have received from the state party all materials necessary to conduct a successful caucus, including a detailed script so any person in the room can conduct the meeting. Later in the meeting, the caucus will also elect a precinct chair. Their job begins when the caucus is done and continues for the next two years. Beginning immediately at caucuses, you will see the DFL's commitment to diversity and outreach. At all meetings and before all party elections, an affirmative action statement will be read. It's designed to remind us of the need to empower underrepresented groups. Additionally, whenever officers and delegates are elected, it's always required that half of them be male and half of them be female. You will hear that practice referred to as gender balance. Your opportunity to impact the party platform is by introducing one or more resolutions for debate and voting at your precinct caucus. There's a form in the official call that must be used to present resolutions. Anyone in the room can propose a resolution for discussion and a vote of the caucus. Resolutions are reviewed at each level other than the congressional district conventions. The resolutions that are supported by a vote of the state convention become the new action agenda in the party platform. You will make your first selection of convention delegates at your caucus. Every caucus sends delegates to the local convention. Delegates from caucuses to local conventions are apt to be selected in one of three ways. Most often in suburban and rural areas, 
you need only volunteer at your caucuses to be a delegate to your local convention. If you can't attend your caucus, there is a form in the official call that you can submit and ask to be included as a delegate. If caucus attendance is high, you may need to be prepared to make a one-minute speech about why you would like to be elected to represent your caucus at your local convention. It's possible that you may need to be prepared for a unique democratic process called proportional voting or walking sub-caucus in order to move on to the next convention. In 2018, many people will attend their caucuses for the specific purpose of supporting one of our six outstanding Democratic candidates for governor. There will be a straw poll conducted at caucuses to measure support for various candidates. Everyone votes in the straw poll. In order to be part of the actual process of selection of our candidate for governor, a process called endorsements, those delegates will need to get to their caucus, become a delegate to their local convention, and from there be elected to be a delegate to the state convention where a candidate for governor will be endorsed. As you've probably figured out by now, caucus night is very busy. Remember, caucuses are the gateway to participation in the Democratic Party from local to national. So get to your caucus, introduce a resolution, become a delegate to your local convention. Opportunities for new activists are virtually endless.